Welcome back to Exploring Whiskeys. I'm Eric. Kevin, and today we're going back into our Kirkland series, but this time we're not doing a bourbon, which we, the first two we did were bourbons. Scotch. We're doing a scotch. This is their, I'm going to say it's their baseline scotch. Mm, this I would is agree. Their regular non-age statement blended scotch whiskey. All right, so what we do know is it's at least three years old because to be a scotch, it has to be at least three years old. That's oh. almost all we know. <laughs> Uh, we do uh, the. They did release. It's twenty percent malted barley, eighty percent grain whiskey. We know it's eighty proof, mm -hmm. and it's in a really, really big bottle. It's fitting for Costco. Fitting for Costco. <laughs> so we, this, we got a full handle here, one point seven five for a whopping uh, twenty five bucks. Yeah, whopping twenty five dollars. Now, in reading a little bit about this release, if you get a similar profile to Dewar's. That is exactly what they're going for. Yeah, I saw that. So they are trying to mirror the profile of the best-selling blended scotch in America, which is Dewar's. Dewar's. So that's what they're trying to go after. We don't know where it's coming from. We don't know the exact source. There's a company out of California? Uh, Calabasas, yeah. California. Uh, Alexander Murray and Co. And they're the ones that are doing all the sourcing for all their scotches. But they also source for, what was it, Trader Joe's? Trader Joe's, Total, Total Wine. Wines. Yeah, they do a lot of their different private label sourcing. It's and, interesting that it's from here. Yeah. I yeah. would have thought it would have come you across the, the pond. You would have thought that somebody <laughs> in Scotland would be sitting there trying to figure that out, huh? <laughs> no, California, as far away from Scotland as you could probably get. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very sweet. Yeah, sweet, a little earthy. The malt yeah. is not like, it's not like the super honey cereal. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more of an earthy, grassy vegetable. Not super strong, um, but not, not unpleasant mm -hmm. by any means. Yeah, super smooth. Yeah, 80 proof. It's not. You get a lot of honey. There's a lot of sweetness and maybe a little little barrel note coming in there. Mm -hmm. It's not like a heavy char or smoke or any of that kind of stuff, but there's a little bit of a barrel note in there. A little faint citrus that kind of hangs around. Little. I could see that, yeah. I could see a little citrus in that. Like a tangerine. <clears throat> that was very specific. Yeah. Tangerine, okay. Mm. The nose doesn't change much going back after the first mm -mm. sip. So outside of this, I think they have a 12-year-old. They do. I, and then they also have some single malts that are like 20 or 23 years old or I something did like not, that. I did not see those when I was at uh, the Costco. I'm going to assume that's a slightly more limited release when you're talking about age, age yeah. range in there. That's crazy. Well, we have the Kirkland 20. And the bottle's like Yeah, that's tall. the really tall one, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that'll probably be next, right? Might as well do the that well, or we have the um, Irish. Yeah, we have the Irish. And the Tennessee. I think and that's Tennessee. it. Tennessee. But I have noticed because my wife bought the um, the gin. Mm -hmm. It's the the Tennessee whiskey bottle. That tall rectangle on. Same it's the gin bottle. Gin bottle. Well, gin. They tinted it a little bit of okay. green, but same shape. I'm gonna say I'm almost getting a very little smoke on the nose, just a, like a mm. hint. But it's not, like, I'm trying to compare this to, like, if it were Dewar's or, uh, no, you know, I haven't had Dewar's for a longest time, but, like, Johnny Walker, where there is that little bit of a smoke I note in there. I have some Dewar's at home. I should have brought it. Yeah. We could have done a little uh, side little by A, side. B, yeah. I think for the money, it's... For 25 bucks for 1.75, it is very solid. It's a very easy drinker. You could easily make highball... Mm -hmm. Scotch and ginger, mm -hmm. any of that kind of stuff. Any of that kind of stuff. You know what? Why not? We nah. could do <laughs> scotch and water, right? Uh, so let's see. A little scotch and water. A couple drips for you. A couple drips for me. Check that out. We got the new. We got some Glen Cairns. Uh, we'll be breaking these out shortly, but we got Glen Cairns with the logo on it. <laughs> All right, so let's see. A couple drops of water. 
I don't know. I'm not sure it's going to do too much. I get the, now. I, I pick up the little bit of a smoke note that you were yeah mentioning before the water, which I didn't get before. That's actually yeah. That really comes out now. Yeah. The the honey and the earthy note kind of muted out a little bit. It's still pretty like veg, vegetation. There's a little bit of a vegetation note on the nose. It got a little warmer. I didn't even aerate it. Yeah, there's a little bit of a little bit more warmth. There's a little bit more of the char, char. note kind of comes through. It's not. It's not a it's still not change, the, but it's still, yeah. It's still it, it changes it just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it did tweak it a little bit, and I mean, for my palate, I think I would prefer it neat. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the sweeter with a hint of smoke versus the more heavy char and smoke that that shows up with a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. But it'd be interesting to continue to maybe let it sit there for a little bit and really get the water more kind of mixed into it. The sure. whole point here, <laughs> it is a solid scotch. It is a great value. Mm -hmm. uh, that I don't know. I even mean, if you're new to the game, I would it, just spend the 25 bucks on this. And even right. if you don't like it, right? I'm sure you got some Mix friends it. when they come over. The, we'll, we'll drink it for you. Or again, yeah. to your point, it would be a good mixer. It's a great mixer. You're never going to go wrong with mixing this into whatever. And you're not going to feel bad for the cost. No. 25 bucks, sure. Drink half and eat half what is a mixer. Again, I think solid. It's Kirkland has done very solid. Uh, whoever they're sourcing it from, it's not. And I don't think it's ever supposed to be. It's never going to be the best scotch you've ever tasted. No, but it goes back to when... It's going to be a really solid scotch for a really great price. But it's like when we... The Bartons, where they got yep. the... the they, small bring them, they bring them in, but yeah. they're not giving them their... They're not going to get the premium. The premium juice. Right. They're going to get something that's similar. But it's solid yep. for a really great price. Yep. It's the same boat. Yep. I, I think anybody could probably buy the lineup from Kirkland, and it's a great base for your mm -hmm. bar. Yeah. That's kind of... That would be my thoughts. And I would imagine if we did the A-B test, a blind. How I, much different is that than doers? Mm -hmm. be I, interesting. I, I, I that would be say interesting. it's probably not much. Probably not, not significant. Mm. I, doers is probably a little bit older, maybe a little bit more nuanced to the profile, yep. but probably not much. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, I wouldn't think so. Not much. Yeah. Right. Solid. Yep, solid. Great find. I yeah. got talked into it. It wasn't the one I was going to get. I saw the bigger one, the 12-year. But this guy said, you can't go wrong. Great find. Um, price. Yeah. Hope to get back up there and find some other stuff. Especially yeah. if they've got even some age. The newer stuff. The newer stuff. Yeah. It's a, it's a road trip. I like it. Road trip. So, all right. Well, sure. bottle number three out of the Kirkland series down. Yep. I know we've got uh, two, three. three more to do. Three, three more to do and must be fine some more. There you go. So, well, we hope you enjoyed uh, our review of the, the Kirkland Blended Scotch Whiskey. Uh, as always, if you did, we'd encourage you to give us that thumbs up. While you're down there, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notified every time we put out a new episode. Let us know if you've had any other Kirklands and, and what your thoughts or experience has been with uh, everything that they've released. Love to hear from you. Yeah. Thanks for joining. See you on the next episode. Cheers. Cheers.